Another day, another shootout challenge. It's time to bring back a fan favorite. Now, last episode, you guys saw what went down. We had hockey gloves on our hands and witnessed probably the greatest moment in shootout challenge history. Well, I'm gonna go in, little kick deek. You know what? We're gonna go for the dive. I'm feeling it. That is right. A diving desperation game winning goal with the gloves on our hands. Well, now it's time to take a blast to the past. You guys have been asking for it. It's time for the copycat shootout challenge. If you don't know, the rules of this challenge are simple. We have to take whatever move our opponent does in the shootout and copy it one for one. So if he goes in and does a dot soup drag and buries it bar down in the top right corner, we have to do that exact same thing. There are no exceptions. So if our opponent does something dumb when we are down by two goals, we have to copy it. That's the beauty of the challenge of course we are going to be putting some packs on the line and there are some big cards that we can pull today 90 overall patrick kane a throwback card was just released into packs we also have a 90 overall kale mccarr an 89 ranton and an 88 trevor zegers these cards are sick oh and a 90 overall austin matthews as well so a few different 90s that we can get yes we broke the curse in the last shootout challenge we got the purple we pulled the patty line but today we need something bigger. Before we get into this, we have something very serious that we need to address. EA with the 90 overall Patrick Kane has released a pack that guarantees you the 90 overall for $60. $60 for one hut card. I could go to Chipotle six times, a whole week of food, or I can get one hut card that disappears at the end of the year. Please, I beg, do not do the $60 Patty Kane pack. Do not do it under any circumstance i know that you want me to hop on here and you want me to do it myself but no even i am not doing it and i do this for your guys's entertainment so today we are keeping it nice and simple we will have two shootouts and two packs the tournament players pack 7 80 plus overalls a 21 percent chance added 86 and hopefully a 90 overall waiting for us in this pack team number one for shootout one of the copycat challenge we got three two one we got the Atlantic All-Stars, one more, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. If there was ever a team, we want the 90 overall Matthews. Today, we're using the 94. Let's go. Okay, game number one is an absolute classic. It is Boston versus Toronto, and I want you guys to absolutely destroy me in the comments if I do not perfectly replicate his moves. Now, for our first one, we get to set the tone. <laughs> Oh, Willie gets him sliding a little bit. There is our one freebie probably of the entire video. Now, of course, we do have to copy his moves one for one, whatever it is. What a selly for Willie to go along with it. Let's go. So most importantly, the toughest thing about this is honestly paying attention enough to copy exactly what he does. He's going little, little backhand shot to the right side. So he went in, put on the brakes like Patty Kane, little bop, 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 then back into the opposite side. Okay, so we're gonna do that same thing. Marner coming in, little boom, 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 boom. Honestly, not a bad effort. Not a bad effort at all from Mitch Marner. We did exactly what he did. I'm not gonna lie, that shot, I was aiming over to the right side, but I think because of our angle, it went five hole. Not a bad look there from Marnes. We do copy his move, and let's see what he has in store for us next. I wanna see the boys get... I want to see the boys get a little fancier as really not a lot of right stick action going on. Pull out the Datsu, pull out the behind the back, pull out anything. As he tried to go a little forehand backhand. So he did this, then it came over here, and then... <laughs> I don't know what was going on there between Matthews and the 10. He run a little bit of a messy situation. It's 2-0. to zero. Fake clapper. Ew. Okay. So he ran out of space there. He tried to do a fake clapper backhand forehand quick move lost it went the other way this is actually kind of a nasty move i respect that as we're gonna walk in little boom boom what a play tavares ba -ba bang and that is the game okay listen he didn't do anything too crazy but i think we actually did a relatively good job with the copycat challenge honestly that last move though 
We might have to start doing that when the fake clap kind of gets them in their head. Then you do the quick backhand. They slam over to that side. You bury it on the forehand. And just like that, game number one, we are locking in pack number one. There's no dot sukes, no jump deeks, no between the legs. But you know what? A win is a win. At this point, with what we have on the line, the packs that we have, and hopefully the 90 overall player that we pull, we got to just take what we can get. That's one dub, one pack, moving in to shootout number two. Hey, let me know in the comment section down below. Rate me on a scale from one to 10. How perfectly did we copy those moves? Obviously, you know, we did our best when he's just going in and doing weird stuff like he was. There's only so much you can do. But I think that was a pretty good replica of what he brought in the first shootout. Now it is time for our second team. Toronto was the best first one we could have in three, two, one, and the Boston Bruins. Okay, the team that we just beat, we now get to pick up and use. Let's see what happens in this one. Okay, shootout number two, and we got to take on the Vegas Golden Knights. The first one went our way, but again, we were, we were hoping for a bit more. I want to see some creativity from you, Jack Eichel. Let's see what you got here. He's coming in. Okay, this guy's got some hand. Oh, Datuk. Okay, hey, we got a battle on our hands. This is what we wanted. So he goes left to right up top, goes for a Datsuk, takes it in, tries to go backhand forehand. We're going to do a little left to right. Little Datsuk. Take it. Backhand. And okay, that's, I mean, that's the same exact move he did to me. We both got robbed the same exact way. Honestly, a pretty good effort. All right, here, Johnny. What do we got here? March is so coming down. Little standstill. He's trying to get, trying to get my head a little bit. Oh, my God. What a save! Oh my, pop off! All right, hey, we're playing, we're playing for 90 overall right now. I'm acting that way. He, he went in, did a little of this, little of this, and then same thing. Took it to the backhand. <laughs> I don't know if that's in the spirit of the game or not, but he went for the fly poke, and I ended up on the backhand the same way that he tried. So you know, I think that's clean. I think that's clean. A nice move. He leaves the net wide open. We bury it on that far side. Let's go. All right, Stevie, what do we got here, buddy? Oh, what is that? I tried to kick him in the head. <laughs> this game. Okay. He kept it relatively simple there. I don't know what he did. It was such a mess. He came down here and then he took it to the backhand. Oh, okay. You got the split save. <laughs> this guy's making this one a little interesting. I don't know what he's doing, but we're making it interesting. Here's Stoney coming down. Goes in. Little backhand. He's trying to catch me on that quick, the quick backhand. No move. Hold it to the backhand. Usually that does work, but not today. Not on me. So we got Krejci coming out. We're going to, I'll add in a little flare, a little toey. And then boom, fake. And he hits me with the flying poke. Okay, this is just a goaltending battle. We can win this game if we make this last save. And for the win, not of a lot of excitement. Oh, he goes for the one-hander. Ew. <laughs> and he misses it. Oh, that would have been nasty. The one-hander into the quick forehand, backhand, forehand. But we are saved by the post. Listen. Am I happy that we won both of these? Yes. Do I want a bit more of a challenge for the copycat challenge? Also, yes. So we're going to do what we usually do. All right, both of those matches were a little bit too easy. We're going to take the dubs. I will get to keep one card from the second pack. But in order to keep the rest of the second pack, we're going to hop into one last shootout, one last copycat challenge, and hopefully get somebody that gets crazy creative. Okay, our final team, our final opportunity. I'm feeling safe, though. I feel, I feel like we're in a good spot here regardless. But who knows? We got three, two one we're back to toronto we'll go one more and the the buffalo sabers we got tate Thompson. that's at least one guaranteed goal <laughs> let's go the greatest jersey in all of sports the buffalo sabers goat head please give me the home team right here right now okay our final shootout challenge of the day like i said the copycat challenge has been going relatively decent but we need we need a little excitement in the that is what we need. I actually really like this move. He goes for the, the quick one-tap deke to the left. So the stride deke to the left. We got to go to the right with the righty and then shoot it to that right side. So boom, boom. Okay, the, the angle, definitely not exactly what we wanted, but I like this guy, all right? He's, getting, he's having some fun with it. All right, oh, can we can we just admire the jersey battle that we have right now as well? As he has the Kachina jerseys, we have the Goathead jerseys. Debatably, two of the best jerseys in all of hockey. So he came in, he tried to do a little, little fake on me. So boom, then backhand. Boom, nice and clean, okay? Nice and clean, hey. 
We'll take that, Skins. We'll take that. Nothing fancy, but it's it's the fake shot that he did. Took it to the backhand. Bing, bang, boom. And we are up one. I just, I have the feeling this guy's going to try something dumb, man. He's going to go for like a flip. The, oh, between the legs. Between the legs, but comes too close to the goalie. I'm not sure what he was exactly trying to do there. I think he's just trying to shoot forehand. So again, coming down this side, a little between the legs. We got to copy his moves word for word. We're just going to go a little bop, bop. Bang. Yep. Hey. Get the boys going a little bit here. Little That is the dumbest Selly of all time. EA, please just take it out of the game. And the fact that it's the default Y button. So when I'm trying to get fired up and get some crazy custom Selly, and then we just hit him with the... Ooh. It's depressing. Okay, coming in. And... That's going to do it for the copycat shootout challenge. Now, we may need to try this again in the future. Maybe I'll send out a tweet and be like, if you want to be in the copycat challenge, go and search a shootout right now because the opponents that we got today, they didn't go too crazy. But a couple good copycats, I still do think I did every goal as good as I could have done them. And we did get three wins, which means we are keeping both of our packs in their entirety. We have fought hard. We have earned these packs and we deserve a 90 overall to go along with it. Now, of course, last episode, our curse was broken. The purple outline popped up. We got a Patty Lane. But today we are hoping for an 88 plus overall. It's a tradable pack as well. So a tradable 88 plus and we are golden. EA, give me a little something. Hopping in to pack number one. 90 overall Matthews, 90 overall Makar, and most importantly, 90 overall Patty Kane would not be a bad pull to get as we get this rolling right away. We're looking for something higher than an 82. And maybe I'll be happy because with how our packs have been. Of course, I say higher than an 82. And 83 overall, Sonny Milano is there. A little prime time. He was on the ice for OV's big 800. So you know what? We'll take 83 overall to start. Hopefully not our best pull of the day. And we do get to keep both of these packs in their entirety. Also a very big pack to go along with it. 183. Halfway through our first one. Let's keep it rolling. Okay. Okay. Our luck is our luck is starting to starting to run out. Again, it's seven guaranteed 80 pluses. And we got Hens who got his big contract. Not bad. Tyler Sagan, what's up with all the Dallas Stars here? 82 overall, Daniil Mirnarov, okay. Keeping this rolling is an 83 overall, Sonny Milano, going to be our best pull of pack number one. Yes, it is. Okay, a, a pretty expensive pack, and we are stuck with an 83 overall, sick-looking card, but not a sick card. It is Sonny Milano at 83. Okay, you know, you... you, you you kind of expect a little bit better than that in your first pack of the day. We're trying to get the boys going a little bit, trying to trying to get some hype in the building here. Let's get into pack number two, where hopefully our luck will shift. Now, to say we've had bad pack luck over the course of these shootout challenges, I think would be a bit of an understatement. I mean, it has been how many? Eight episodes without a single purple and then our first purple. Oh, okay. 85 overall, Cole Cop. 85? They got Cole Caulfield at an 85. At least bump that guy up to like an 87. His prime time sitting at an 85 overall. A big pull helps us out for the team of the year sets that are coming up. But obviously not what you want to see. We got the 86 Patty Kane last time. We are looking for those 88 pluses. As we get Aranta there, we're looking looking for the 88, 89, 90 overall. Kale McCarr would not mind it. But yeah, to say our pack luck in the shootout challenge is bad would be definitely an understatement. It took us eight episodes. We got one purple. It was an 86 overall. And it's looking like that luck is going to be the same today unless we can have some end of the pack magic. 82 overall, Rajo. Keeping this rolling. Four cards left. Three. Two. Oh, another 85 as we get Nicole Hensley. Okay. 285s, a Caulfield and a Hensley. We will take that. And yeah, we'll take it. Big American pack here. 85 Caulfield, 85 Hensley. Last card of the pack. And in three, two, one. Hit us with that purple. Bang! Victor Bartley. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. A couple 85s, a Caulfield, a Hensley. Not terrible, but again, nothing to get out of your chair for. 
Well, a very interesting shootout challenge today. We had some battles. We got some wins. We weren't challenged too hard, but we had some fun in the process. If you guys did enjoy the copycat shootout challenge, maybe you want to see me try it again versus some better opponents. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. And that's it for me. I'm Nasher, and I'm out. Peace.